an astronomer's predictions for 2022. He claims asteroid strike, inflation, food crisis, and more. Actually, he was talking about starvation and even the use of the word cannibalism. And we've heard that lately, unfortunately. Nostradamus was a French plague doctor, astrologer, and philosopher. In 1555, he wrote a book called Les Prophéties, which is a book of predictions for ages to come. Nostradamus, in his book, uh, many of his predictions have uh, made have come true, but not all of them. He used to write them in quadrants, and they were uh, very uh, mystical, mysterious. With that being said, life is full of exciting unpredictabilities, so seeing the future is not a perfect art, but it's still fascinating to be able to look at how the predictions truly do tie into modern life. Some of these already are starting to transpire now, but have not fully happened, and you'll see what we mean here below. One, the death of a world leader. Many interpretations of this prediction indicate that Kim Jong-un or another world leader could die within this year or next year. There are different interpretations of who it will be, but the quote reads as follows. Quote, the sudden death of the first character, he will be changed and they will put another in his kingdom. End quote. I wonder if it has to do with uh, doppelgangers, somebody that uh, looks like them. But anyway, number two, the rise of artificial intelligence. Over the past few years, technology has evolved at an alarming rate, leading to much controversy as to the possible devastating effects this could cause. Many prophecies from Nostradamus indicate that if artificial intelligence were to gain enough, quote, awareness, end quote, it could end up seizing our entire strings of networks. Three, the fall of the European Union. Quote, sacred temples of the Roman time, it will reject the foundations of their foundation, end quote, Many people believe it started with Brexit and will lead to uh, conflict and strife and then the downfall of the European Union. Four, global warming. Quote, like the sun, the head will seal the shining sea. The live fish of the Black Sea will almost boil. End quote. Wow. Some interpretation read this as a major solar storm that could liquefy Earth's poles, causing our sea levels to rise. Another similar prediction, like earthquakes, flooding, and water shortages tie into this one. And five, invasion of France. Blue head shall white head harm in such degree as France's good to both shall air amount. While this is a pretty vague quadrant, some interpret this as a reference to uh, something like World War III, a possible French takeover, and wars that tie into the downfall of the European Union. Well, we know that Emmanuel Macron is not doing very well. He lost uh, a lot of his uh, seats to uh, the uh, right-wing party of uh, uh, Le Pen. Now, number six, inflation, starvation, cannibalism. Quote, no abbots, monks, no novices to learn. Honey shall cost far more than candle wax. So high the price of wheat. That man is stirred, his fellow man to eat in his despair, end quote. That's terrible. This particular prophecy made my skin crawl, especially after a year of food shortages, supply chain shortages, and other indications of food shortages in general. Can we only hope, we can only hope this one does not ring true. And then number seven, an asteroid strike. In 1555, Nostradamus also appeared to have predicted that the Earth will be struck by an asteroid resulting in mass death. The astronomer's prophecies, let's remember he was also an astronomer and he's talking about celestial body here. The astronomer's prophecies are vague as to when this claimed celestial stone strike will occur, but he did write that a great fire would fall from the sky. Well, we know that's also predicted in the book of Revelation in chapter 8. Now, what are your thoughts? Please leave comments on this. This is from Awareness Act on Collective Spark. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. 
You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.